Hey guys, it's Jeremy again, and I'm back for my September uh, 2012 wrap-up. Sorry, this is like six days late, but I've just been crazy in my life and reading and all that stuff. Um, I got these three books this month, um, two, two, um, two actual books, and then one was a graphic novel, and, um, and that was due back to the library, but it... it, but it Earlier on in September, the House of Night legacy graphic novel came out, and so I checked it out from my library. I was like, hey, what the heck, if I like this, then maybe I can get into the actual series, the actual books. Um, I did read the graphic novel. I thought it was an okay graphic novel. I gave it a 5 out of 5. Um, I really liked it. I thought the graphics were really, really neat. Um, I was a bit confused. Like, I feel like you're already supposed to know so much what was going on. I felt like they didn't explain enough in the beginning. So that I was a bit shaky on. But, you know, it was a graphic novel. And it wasn't very long. And I was told that it takes place in the second book, which makes no sense. So, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know on that one. But... It was okay, and that was um, that was just one of the ones I read. The uh, the first book I read this month was Poison by Dan Voltage. This is the first book of the Keeper of Light trilogy, and as you guys know from my book review on this, I really really thoroughly enjoyed this book. Um, I really liked the characters. I liked the plot. I liked the setting. I loved just about everything about it, and I'm about, um, I believe it comes out in January, so that's very, very exciting. Really, really excited to read it. Um, but uh, what I'm more, even more excited to get uh, for this is um, I'm actually going to try in these next couple of months to try to get this in hardback, because um, maybe if I can get this in hardback, then... Um, because I'm 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 trying to spread the word about this book as much as possible to as many people as I can. So if you guys are interested in this book, um, maybe after I get my hardback, I can um, do a, maybe do a giveaway with this copy. Because I would love for somebody else that's never heard of this story to get into it and absolutely lo love it. And then when the next two books in the series comes out or the trilogy, I mean, you guys can get it. There will be two more books. The second book is called Possession, and the second book is called I Failed. Wow, I, I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. But they also the P, which is kind of funny. Then, then the last book I read in the month of September. Sorry, September was a really slow month for me. And and I and I read You Deserve the Best: 100 Affirmations for Living a More Positive Life by Robert Flood. I really like this cover, and this cover, I believe, was designed by Richard Denny, but I could be wrong. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too sure. It's a very, very thin book. Basically, this book, or this novella, I should say, actually, or it's a book for me, anyway. This basically talks about the 100 best affirmations to, you know, show you how to live a more positive and uplifting life. You know, it teaches you how to treat people. It teaches you, you know, say, you know, you walk up... To somebody you smile or you say hi first, you know, that's just, you know, say you smile like this, even if you may not get a smile in return. But, you know, it just, it's something just to not let, you know, you get down about your life. So I really, really thoroughly enjoyed this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5. Um, I may not give this a video review, but I may just go ahead and do it anyway because I really did thoroughly enjoy it. So look for a video review very, very soon. The only reason why I, I said no... I said maybe not because this doesn't really have a storyline storyline like most books do. Um, you know, like you know, like just you know, like characters in like a story. I, um, but but because but I was also sent this book by the author, so I will definitely be doing a video, a video review. You know, the more people know about it, the best. It'll actually be called 100 Affirmations Book Review because it's got a really long title and that won't fit. So it'll just be 100 Affirmations Book Review. So yeah. Well, this is my September wrap up. September. Sorry, my my ear was itching. Um, yeah, this is my September 2012 wrap up. Um, I've already read one. I've already read one month. I've I've already read one month. See, my I'm like so not there today. <laughs> I've already read one book for the month of October, and that book is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stefan Sabotsky. My review is coming up very very soon. It actually, um, I'm filming this video on Saturday. You guys may not see it 
till probably Monday. And the reason why that is is because I have to go somewhere else to upload my video. So, well, sorry if that happens, guys, but you guys will see it as soon as you guys can. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope I and I I've already read one book so far, so hopefully I can get. I'm I, my goal for October is to read five books, but we'll see if that happens. We'll see if I can do more than that. We'll, I'll just have to see on my schedule. If I can find a book that is really good, then I can finish it in a matter of days. But really, really excited to share this video with you guys. And, uh, and, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.